Okay, so I, um, I am intrigued by the mysterious Gypsy Queen. Tops 2018 Gypsy Queen baseball cards. I went to, I was at a sort of like a kind of like antique like slash comic book slash video game store in Brooklyn where I live. Uh, getting my son, uh, I was looking for a original NES, uh, Nintendo system for him to play around on, uh, didn't find them, but they had some baseball cards, uh, they had, uh, this pack, um, which, uh, I think, although I ripped the price tag off for some reason, it's like, I think it's $3.99, which seemed like I, I frankly have no idea if it's high or low, but it didn't seem unreasonable because as I understand it, this is one of the higher end um, in the sort of top line of baseball cards. I, I, I don't know much about them. Um, and then they also had these like sort of mystery packs. Uh, all you can see is that there is Andrew McCutcheon on the front and Chris Davis on the back. I don't know anything else uh, about Gypsy Queen other than that. I know there's some like weird inserts and rare, uh, rare cards that don't immediately look it. So I thought it might be interesting to compare how we do uh, between just opening a pack of six new cards and opening this like, I don't know how many are in here. It looks like they're all Gypsy Queen cards, but there's a lot more than six obviously um but they've been presumably picked through by the store owner so let's do the pack first uh and then uh then we'll go into the like sort of grab bag all right mike trout on the front all right so we've got and, you know, if you're watching this and you see me miss some kind of uh, rarity on the card, some kind of abnormality or whatever, let me know. Um, uh, okay, Lance McCullers. These are thick cards. Wow, Ozzy Albee's rookie. That's a beautiful card. Um, he is awesome to watch. Like, just crazy talented. Uh, a little bit overshadowed by his... Rookie of the Year teammate, uh, but this is a sweet looking, awesome, beautiful card. And just to comment on the design, I don't know what Gypsy Queen means. I assume it's harkens to some kind of uh, era in uh, trading card or tobacco or cigarette or gum collecting or something. Uh, it, it evokes this sort of uh, kind of uh, I don't know, maybe like uh, Coney Island, Boardwalk, that machine from the movie Big, uh, mystery, tarot, spirituality, fortune teller type feel. I don't know why I think that. Um, and the cards um, are, putting, putting all that nonsense aside, are just really, really beautiful. They're super thick stock. Um, and you get a... Um, some kind of the it 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 looks to be like a photograph that is that is made to look painted using you know photoshop or something like that um but the effect is just it looks gorgeous the colors are really really um sort of soft subdued almost pastel -y colors um and uh the design is really really cool with this sort of like uh, ornamentation along the side here, um, and, and, um, this, you know, the, I guess the player position and the team in, set in this unique, um, sort of placard off to the side. Uh, so this is number one. I love this card. It's awesome. Let me just adjust. All right, let's, uh, take a look. We've got Steven Sousa Jr. Um, all right, we've got an Ichiro. We've got a Clayton Kershaw. 
which is a really awesome looking card too. The pitcher poses I think are best in the when they look when they're when they're captured in the middle of a pitch. I mean this Kershaw card, he it's just a, such a dynamic image. Um, I really I really like that. And Jose Barrios. All right, so I guess I'll put the Kershaw as number two for now, and the Ichiro as number three, and let's see if we can beat it. Uh, let's see if any of these, uh, in this um, mystery pack, it was only 99 cents. How, how wrong could it go? Um, they had mystery packs of all sorts of types. I just found the Gypsy Queen ones. Figuring I might have a good shot at uh, getting something more interesting. You know, it's really easy to see, like, a parallel from tops, uh, the tops like, sort of base series or whatever it's called. Um, all right, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Corey Knable. Francisco Mejia. Josh Reddick, Will Myers, Trevor Bauer, Anthony Rendon, Austin Hedges, Jose Ramirez, Daniel Medgin, Mangden, I guess, J.P. Crawford, rookie, uh, Shin Su Chu, Orlando Arcia, Johnny Cueto, Luis Gohara, Marcus Stroman, Steven Strasburg, Ryan Braun, Joe Panic, and our Chris Davis. So I don't see anything. Uh, amazing out of those you know let me know in the comments if you're you happen to be watching this and note notice that i uh i missed some subtlety <laughs> i missed some subtlety uh in terms of the sort of mysterious uh gypsy queen type inserts or parallels i heard there's like some kind of missing nameplate thing i didn't see any of that um i honestly have no idea how to find this stuff um but it's i mean 99 cents for me is worth just seeing these really really beautiful baseball cards um uh you know I, they they are in in a if you if you watched my video about the tops Allen and Ginter cards, they are like I feel the same way about these as I do about those. I just think they're so elegant, they're so interesting. Um, they have this like sort of mystique about them, uh, some sort of uh, artistry that the standard tops cards, in my view, don't really have. Um, and uh, I'm really. Uh, really happy with uh with the purchase even though it doesn't look like i got any sort of major hits or anything like that um but but there you have it there is two packs in fact of gypsy queen baseball cards